Hey guys, I'm Kent and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my yellow 2022 Honda Gram up on the lift and I'm going to be installing the Taiga high mount exhaust for this bike. Uh, I teased this in an earlier video, uh, but excited to finally get it on me. Show you what it looks like up close. It has a carbon finish. All of the machining is really nice. I particularly am a fan of the machining here on the back part of the can. Uh, and I'm also a fan of the high mount exhausts on these bikes. I just don't like the way that the uh, low mounts look. I think it's clean to have this space filled up here in the back of the bike. And there's also not too many options for good high mount solutions. On my other 22 Grom, I'm running that Yoshimura setup. That one's particularly expensive and it was also a limited production run. Most of the companies are just using the mounting position here where the stock one goes. But again, really interested to try this out because I think this is a great solution if you want to run a high mount exhaust. One of the main reasons why a lot of people, myself included, like to run high mounts is because the stock rear sets have a mounting bolt for the exhaust down here. So if you want to run the Tiger rear sets, which I'm running now on a couple of the bikes, you need to figure out a different way to mount your exhaust. And again, a great solution is to run a high mount. So I think it looks better. It also serves a functional purpose for running a aftermarket rear sets. So installation looks pretty straightforward. Unbolting the stock exhaust just has a handful of bolts and the two exhaust mounts. We'll pull that off and get this one together. So removal just involves taking off these two nuts here, this mounting point in the mid part of the pipe, and this exhaust hanger and the unit should come off. It's a 12 millimeter box wrench to take off the nuts on the front. Also a 12 millimeter socket for the mid bolt. And I'm gonna let the hold there for a second. And 12 millimeter socket and nut on the rear bolt. So the header comes in three separate pieces, all with really good looking bends and really pretty welds. The installation should be pretty straightforward. It's the first part of the header that goes into the head of the engine, and then the mid pipe that attaches to the center part of the frame, and then the final part of the pipe that comes up through the swing arm and attaches to the exhaust. So when installing a new header, you should always use a new gasket. I'm gonna actually leave the old gasket in there for now because I plan on pulling this on and off a few times but we'll definitely be getting a new gasket on there when I get my final installation. But this just installs over the header studs and using the acorn nuts. For now, just get them somewhat threaded on so it holds the pipe, but we'll snug everything down at the very end. All right, and then for the middle portion of the pipe, the front part just slips on to the first part of the exhaust that we put on. And then also we'll be using the spacer that came with the kit this goes in between the frame and this flange here on the exhaust to space it out just a bit. The kit also came with some new hardware. This bolt is a little bit longer than the stock bolt and also has a washer on it. So it goes bolt, washer, exhaust, spacer, and then into the frame. Just to get the thread started there, we don't want to tighten it down until we've got everything in place. And then the last piece of the pipe fits over the piece we just installed. So now we're ready to put on the exhaust. There's two black plastic caps here that you just pop off. And then we use the included bracket to mount up to that space here. So we use the included bolt that goes through the bracket. And then there's also a little standoff that you use that goes up against the metal subframe, but gives enough space so that it, the bracket doesn't touch the plastic. The kit also comes with two more spacers. I believe you can use these in different places to make sure that the positioning is right of the exhaust system. I'm actually going to use them as dress up washers though, to use over the bolt that goes against the bracket. So I think that's a pretty clean look. So uh, that's how I'm gonna use them. Again, I think if you need them somewhere else to space the exhaust a little bit differently, you can, but uh, I think this will look good on my application. All right, and now for the exhaust, slipping it over the rear portion of the pipe. 
And in the instructions, it says that you can put the mount on either the outside or the inside of the bracket. I'm going to tuck it on the inside. I'd like to get it a little closer to the frame of the bike if I can. Then using the included hardware, a bolt and a washer going through the bracket. And then using a small M6 washer and M6 lock nut. I'll just get it started on there. All right, so that's pretty much installation complete. Now it's just a matter of tightening everything down. So I need to get all of the springs onto the connecting parts of the pipe and then torque down all of the bolts that I just loosely assembled to get everything to shape. The kit also came with these spacers for using either the stock turn signals, and they also have the smaller one if you're running an aftermarket turn signal. I'm actually running the Yoshimura tail tidy, which puts these turn signals in a different position anyway, so it doesn't look like it's gonna fit on my application. I'm actually planning on running the integrated tail here pretty soon anyway, so I'm not going to install these, but if you are running the stock tail and want to retain the stock lights, you can with the included uh, adapters that they provide in the kit. Okay, so just two more steps before we can fire it up. One is we need to wipe down the entire exhaust header. Anywhere that we touch or that there's grease, that'll burn in on the first start as soon as the pipe gets hot. So by using some alcohol and wiping everything down, that'll ensure that the exhaust looks good once we start it up. Last thing, you can see the exhaust pipe now runs pretty close, only about an inch away from the rear uh, brake line. So the kit also includes a little relocation kit to move the reservoir over a little bit that'll pull the hose with it. So I'm going to take off these three, uh, I think these are M5 Allen keys to pull off the triangle and get this installed. This looks like it's just a couple of bolts to, again, space it out about an inch further so that it's not close enough to do any damage to this hose. So we use the extension plate, the included hardware, bolt washer, plate, and the nut. And then reusing the factory bolt through the other side of the extension bracket. Get that cinched down. All right, so you can see now that it's more space out here, as well as about twice the distance between the hose and the exhaust here. So I'll get the triangle back on and we'll fire this up. So a big thank you to Tiger for letting me try out this exhaust. I'll link in the description below directly to the product. I plan to ride the bike around some more, get a feel for the sound and the power, and then I'll get it up to the dyno to see how much it's making, both compared to the stock exhaust, and then I'm also gonna get it on my other 22 Grom and compare it against the Yoshimura dual high mount system and see how those two compare. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.